Russian Defense Minister Andrei Belusov arrived in Beijing for an official visit on Monday. Belusov attended a welcoming ceremony, laid a wreath at the Monument to the People's Heroes at Tiananmen Square and held talks with his Chinese counterpart Dong Jun. He praised Russian-Chinese relations and stressed that Moscow is determined to implement all agreements. Russian-Chinese military cooperation is an important element of increasing defense capability, maintaining global and regional stability, Belusov added. The Chinese defense minister said that both countries have a common desire to promote military cooperation. Дружественные отношения России и Китая сохраняют высокую динамику развития, расширяются по всем направлениям и находятся на беспрецедентном уровне. Ключевую роль в укреплении стратегических связей играют доверительные контакты лидеров двух стран настроенные на реализацию всех достигнутых на высшем уровне договоренностей. Российско-китайское военное сотрудничество – важный элемент повышения обороноспособности, поддержания глобальной и региональной стабильности. Мы регулярно проводим совместную оперативную боевую подготовку на суше, море и воздухе. Успешно отрабатываем учебно-боевые задачи, в том числе самой высокой сложности, рассчитывая на тесное плодотворное сотрудничество с китайскими товарищами. Уверен, что сегодняшний переговор... China held large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands Monday in what it called a warning against Taiwan independence. China's defense ministry said the drills were a response to Taiwanese President Lai ching tees refusal to concede to Beijing's demands that Taiwan acknowledge itself as a part of the People's Republic of China under the rule of the Communist Party. Taiwan's defense ministry called the drills a provocation and said its forces were prepared to respond. Joseph Wu, Secretary General of the National Security Council of Taiwan, said China's drills have violated the basic spirit of the United Nations Charter to resolve disputes through peaceful means. Wu said President Lai ching tee has held a national security meeting to give clear instructions on the threat of China's military. And he believed that Taiwan's armed forces will appropriately deal with the threat from China. China's Eastern Theater Command spokesperson Navy Senior Captain Li Shi said the Navy, Army Air Force and Missile Corps were all mobilized for the drills. This is a major warning to those who back Taiwan independence and a signifier of our determination to safeguard our national sovereignty, Li said in a statement on the service's public media channel. Taiwan was a Japanese colony before being unified with China at the end of World War II. It split away in 1949 when Chiang Kai-shek's nationalists fled to the island as Mao Zedong's communists swept to power on the mainland. Lai took office in May, continuing the eight-year rule of the Democratic Progressive Party that rejects China's demand that it recognize Taiwan as a part of China. China routinely states that Taiwan independence is a dead end and that annexation by Beijing is a historical inevitability.
。那有关于今天早上的演习。呃，总统这边也已经召开国安高层会议，啊，针对中国军力的威胁，啊，以及行政院相关部会的这个应应，啊，都有做出相当明确的这个指示。那我想，我们的国军针对中国的这个军事威胁，啊，一定会有适当的这个处置。那也要请国人安心，用军力啊来威胁其他的国家。这个和联合国宪章的基本精神，以和平的方式解决争端的这个基本精神，也是相互违背的。有清楚，可是我们要会有爱心包容大家。象征行动，听觉。我不担心，我个人我不担心，其实我是不担心的，而且不会不会太恐慌。那你一边看来，大家好像都是按照自己的生活步调，并没有改变。在台湾，对啊，是啊，确实是如此，没有，好像没有什么影响，实际上是没什么太大的影响。呃，台湾算目前蛮安定的啊，啊对对对，的。然后，对啊，就习惯了，习惯那么多年了，从小到大都这样。哦。